everyone welcome to another beautiful episode on this beautiful channel today's video is being inspired by a friend of mine because um a few weeks back this person called me i was like hey i'm looking for this particular drug i don't know um the pl place we used to get it from is out of stock in that place so i've been asking around and no, the people don't, it's as if people don't even really know about the drug. And I was like, okay, you know what's going to happen? What's the name of the drug? And I was like, the name of the drug is this, 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 and called it. <laughs> it was actually magnesium citrate the person was looking for. So I was like, okay, I know magnesium has supplements, but that was the first time I've heard someone specifically ask for magnesium citrate. So what I did was I called a few colleagues of mine and lo and behold, most of them have never even heard of magnesium citrate. While some others, the only ones they knew of was magnesium sulfate. I was like, oh, um, I called the person back. I was like, this is what I know people have. This is what I know they know. Um, would you prefer that one? And he was like, no, I can't take this one because magnesium citrate is actually based on a doctor's prescription. I said okay then I got to ask okay what does the person you know take it for because I was that curious I asked the, the age of the person lo and behold it was an elderly person he was just being nice to buy the drug for an elderly patient so he told me this is what the drug is used for that the person was actually taking it to prevent him from starting antihypertensives and I was like wow so I had to do some digging and got to know about some magnesium supplements that are in the market and guys you won't believe there are a lot of magnesium supplements different types and they have various uses i just when i saw i was really like wow some i have never even heard of before some i didn't even know they existed but i did a little digging and found out about most of them so i'm going to be sharing most of the various magnesium supplements with you so let's start with this video guys um the first on my list is magnesium citrate of course the one that inspired this video so it has to be the first magnesium citrate fortunately magnesium citrate is popular it's not as um rare as i thought it would be but i think i even saw it the day we were searching for it i think i saw it on jumia or conga one of the stores they sold the supplement and i was really surprised funny enough it's a very common um, supplement magnesium supplement and guys magnesium citrate is really really bioavailable which means it is easily absorbed by your body um, magnesium citrate the name comes because it has um, citric acid bound to magnesium hence the name magnesium citrate and it's citric acid you can find citric acid in mostly citric fruits so the name magnesium citrate came about because this citric acid was bound to magnesium and it, I think it's the most absorbable magnesium supplement than other forms of um, magnesium supplements. So this, I can say it was on the safe side for a man that his age. And I could understand why that one was rather prescribed for him. But let's know that magnesium, it's used to treat um, constipation. That's why you have your laxative. Okay, a common laxative, which if you're in Nigeria, you know, is the mist mag and it's also used to treat constipation and there was a paper i was reading that said um although they said they need to do more tests on it to verify how it works that magnesium has a calming effect so when i read this i could understand why this was prescribed to the old man um they said it has a tendency of calming depression and anxiety so it could be true but they said more research needs to be done on it. So while we wait on that, I just know that for sure that magnesium citrate is the most absorbable magnesium supplement above other forms. So guys, the next one is magnesium oxide. Now, magnesium oxide, which is magnesium and oxygen bound together. Now, when I saw this one, studies show that this could be used, magnesium oxide could be used in treating migraines. But... The problem with magnesium oxide is really it is poorly absorbed in the body. That is, your body wastes time, you know, to break it down. And which could be a problem, especially if you want to use magnesium oxide as a supplement to raise your magnesium levels. So the next one is magnesium chloride, magnesium and chlorine joined together. 
Now this one is easily absorbed by the body. Now it could also be used to treat heartburns and constipation. I think this one is the only one that has a topical solution. That is, it has a cream. People normally rub it on their body against soreness. I think yeah, when they are feeling sore or when they have this um reddish kind of inflammation on their skin they just tend to apply it although it comes in some tablets and some capsules as well you have magnesium lactate which is magnesium and lactic acid so when you have this hence the name magnesium lactate when you have this you know lactic acid is produced by your body your muscles is yes your muscles produce lactic acid and once this is combined with magnesium it comes it forms the magnesium lactate and this one is easily absorbable and because your body produces um, lactic acid it will work well and be very gentle on your digestive tract so especially people are looking to increase their magnesium levels and maybe they can't tolerate the other forms of the other types of magnesium supplements this is a good to magnesium lactate is a good to to use i feel it's going to be very effective and the next one on our list is magnesium malate now the first time i heard about malate was it malic acid time i saw it somewhere was in a book they were describing a fruit i've forgotten the name of the fruit exactly so that was the first time i heard so malic acid so magnesium malate should be a combination of um magnesium and malic acid now since this is something people already consume if you're a lover of wine or a lover of fruits um you should be familiar with it and it's gentle it has a very less laxative effect and magnesium malate is absorbable by the body now this one which i believe is common is the magnesium sulfate this one has a combination of magnesium sulfur and oxygen i think the popular name people know it as is epsom salt so that's why it's very very popular it was even the one i got to know from my colleagues like it's very very um, common but this one has an unpleasant taste guys so that's why i feel people will go more for other magnesium supplements compared you know people will go for other magnesium supplements and not this one but if you've used epsom salt before you know that people normally use it to you know treat wounds relieve sores magnesium supplements are a lot there are still some others which i didn't mention in this video now on which to take Firstly, I feel you should consult your doctor for it. Um, I'm not a fan of going for medicines, like rushing to medicines first. I believe in taking them in your food before, and then if you're not getting enough from your food, then you can dive into supplements. But I feel like getting them from your food, like I know magnesium, you could get them from um, your beans, which are your legumes, your vegetables, your walnuts almonds um, nuts generally you could get magnesium from nuts so i would go with those ones first before i could you know start taking supplements and because food is more <laughs> food is relatable and i'm a foodie so to the next video see you guys bye